Well, hello. I'm, I'm going to show you a game that I did not play by two amazing grandmasters. They are in the candidates tournament. Today is the 20th. Well, maybe in March on the 20th because it is dark. So uh, today they did not have the day. Tomorrow they will also start. Tomorrow is round four of the candidates tournament, and I'm going to show you what happened in round three. I'm going to show you a very interesting game. Uh, Rapport uh, drawed his second game against Ferruccio, very interesting. Um, although uh, Rapport was within, he was up a point, but um, uh, he agreed to a draw. And same with uh, Dan. Um, then the yarn uh, draw the game against Richard Grapworth, and we're going to analyze Richard Grapworth versus Dean Leon and how the game started. And I have all the information. So this happened in Madrid, Spain. And, and let's see how this happened and why did they come here to play against each other? They came to play and win. Players place 48. Thousand dollars, second place, uh, thirty six thousand, third place, twenty four thousand dollars, fourth place, I think, you four thousand dollars or something. So, first of all, the the we first start off with d4. d4, it's a, a kind of weird move because because after you go forward, we we get into the Indian game, so the Sorry, the Indian Indian game. Um, I always play the Indian game like e four, and then most people play d four, and then I just play this, and then I open up the attack. Okay, so that's the main line. But actually, he went for the king's Indian defense, but now we change into the grim folk defense. Okay, it's just uh just very standard stuff. Everybody plays as Richard Rapport has lots lots of games played with this, but okay, uh I'll be sure to Jason must have only developing move because if you played let's say E6, um first you develop your bishop. Well first of all you actually move it. There's actually no places to move it, but okay. Okay, in the game, Russia the C4 happened. Um, tr trying to get um pieces out and trying to castle because the queen side is too crowded. Because once J just open up the center, you're just gonna lose the call by just to look to be what just happened. All these free spaces are open. All these squares. Okay, but in the game, C5 straight, trying to trying to open up the central because if this happens, of course we're going for this, and then this happens, we're gonna of course take takes takes, and wow, we just lost a rock. So you lost six points. Wow, we you just lost some points. I mean. Uh, actually, you gain five points. So. Okay, in the game, ninety two happened. Trying to defend, um, not go for like d five. D five is not great. But you're actually defending the pawn, and um, uh, sorry, you're defending the pawn. and going for this because anyways, this is a pin, and this is a fiend shadow bishop. So you don't fall in, and it will be a painful position if you have. To. Has a lot of pressure on this. Okay, in the game, what happened was knight to c6 and um, bishop to e3. Uh, uh, castles happened in the game. Castles and um, d6. Trying to move, move your bishop to b7 since there's no really opening spot because if you really put it here, you're just gonna get fork. If you put it here, it's just blocking the queen um, from so. From the half of the but and we're just gonna put more pressure on the open file. We just lost the file, and we're gonna put more pressure, and more pressure, and soon you can't, you can't even imagine how and why you just lost Richard.
rap. I mean, Ding Liard. But Ding Liard is like the second best player in the world. So it's um, but okay, rapper really good, and he is on my coach's um former stream. So let's see if he can actually win this game. You could have also just played this. This is just wasting. But in the game, actually, look to see what happened. It's, um, and now you want to get out of harm's way because once the position opens up, like I said, this is not a comfortably square for um the rock once the position opens. Up. I'm gonna put defend this pawn. And also this pawn is a little weak, but um I think if you just put an impression job, it's gonna have to be hard. Okay, so in the game B B B7 was played and next B5 was played. Um um I was expecting Black to play rook to e8, but in the game rook to c8 was played. Now, 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 now you're just defending it. For some reason, if like ideas like d5 happens, you can um always be prepared and you can um just put an extra defense on this. Um, if any case other pieces come in the attack. Because you know, if you open up the file, it'll be a little bit of trouble. If you here, it will be a little bit of trouble for this. So you're trying to defend, but like we said, both of these are weak. But if we open up the position, wow, what a, all three pawns are weak. But of course, it's a pawn chain, so you can have to restart from the beginning of the piece. Okay, but in the game, queen to do to happen, um, trying to um get some uh target in the h6 trick. So if anything looks like bishop to h6 happens, we can capture. But of course, we have the plan of a6 because if you play it, well, you're just gonna lose the bishop. And of course, we're just targeting the square h6 because then we will have um control over. The pawns will actually won't have control over the pawns. So sorry. They won't have control over the pawns. But wow, you just got yourself into a pineapple position and there's really nothing to do. I mean you could just hit it square to do something like that. But there's really nothing to do. Um but you need to bring more attackers into and do you have one more bishop? Yes, you do, but that bishop isn't. Okay, but um, D4 happened in the game, um, uh, striking with an opportunity to win the game, and Gang says, okay. What you got, you want to open the center? I have more center, but let's see what you got. Takes top in this game and queen to d6. Um, putting even more pressure on this and trying to, if any ideas, putting it in the h2 square if you want to, if you're going to um, try to have ideas in mind. Rip to d1, trying to defend the pawn. Queen to b4, offering a queen trade, and then Ding doesn't accept it. Here, Rapport plays e6 and h4, trying to have some ideas advancing with this or advancing here to trap the bishop over here. It's really overwhelming when the bishop gets to h8. Uh, or you can do it here. This is just annoying square, or you can do it here where you can use the bishop. Here won't be best because you're just gonna play that and then oh sorry. You're just gonna face off that, then what happened? You're just gonna have to move it back there if you move it down there. That's a dumb bit like kind of overwhelming the things just pull up. But okay, you're probably thinking through rook f to d8 was played in the game first going for this, and then you can have some ideas. Okay, bishop to g5 trying to uh, 
Bishop to g5 turn to um um and can Richard Rapport find the move the correct move or would he not? There is a move that will save the game. I'm going to not show this, but there is a move um, that didn't be of one point, but that will not change the game forever. And can R Richard Rapport find out what is the move? And um, it was a good move. And that's the good move. Nothing for. Feel free to pause the video and find out the best move while I give you a couple of seconds. Congratulations on the people who found it. The people just want to enjoy the show. The move was knight g4. And after this position, um, game will be up a pawn. But can we continue um, this excellent play by him? Okay. What's happening in the game? Okay, now now Ding has um exchange sacrifice, so now he's up, but the game is not over. You want to keep advancing, trying to give him away a pawn, but of course the Ding does not accept it because if you accept it, what happens in the game is that you won't have enough defense, and look, this bishop will, and then you're just gonna point that, and you just got yourself into big bananas because. This will fall, and soon enough, then this will fall. So you don't want to capture it. Bishop to e5 was played, trying to not get the pin. Okay, but a4, try, you, you keep on giving it away. And I know two ideas of this, you're trying to block the move. Um, this is built a little for wrong. Trying to get in the field over here. Um, um, king to g7 was play king f1, knight captures, queen captures, rook captures, rook captures, and pawn to a7. Um, and, and this is where the fun begins. Okay, in the game, actually, now he won back the pawn. But can we just keep on doing it? Okay, he, he played excellent play, but now the thing is up the pawn. Can he still win the game or can he not? Rook to e1 was played, queen to d4, queen to e2 trying to win the bishop for the pawn. So technically, the thing would be up, I guess, three points. Okay, Bishop back to F6. Now we capture the pawn in G6, takes, and now Queen to E4 trying to get an offer trade. He doesn't accept it because now because he's completely gonna be strong, but not quite. Because Richard Rapport has attack, but Ding Leon has more more uh, more of uh, um has more better defense. Like has better you can like have both pieces, but the defense only has three pawns and bishop pieces. So can um uh Richard Rapport um can Richard Rapport find um, I mean can Richard Rapport draw the game? Can he save the game? Okay, queen to d1 happened, rook to Rook to d1, queen to d1, one repetition. And finally, he stops the repetition by playing g2. Bishop to, um, bishop to d4, threatening checkmate on f2. And of course, you play queen to b2. You decline the trade, queen to c3. And queen to d1, queen to c6, queen, uh, queen to g4, um, e5. Takes, takes. Now Richard Rapport is up the pawn, but finally. So why did Ding capture the pawn? 
Why? Because he was a pawn. Because he couldn't make any progress. He needed to have less pieces to make progress. Okay, so now it's repetition. Came to G8. Check. And this was the position that um, um, the game we gave both B because there was a first one you ever And if you played H7, um, there's no way you to stop that. You also control that. You don't know what to do. So, also played at both plays. I played the C game um, at the last few moments, but could have then kept his pieces. He was not making any progress when he had the extra pawn. He should have made a lot of progress. He did not make pro progress, so he had to give away at the end. He tried his best to progress. It seemed like one I played um eighteen hundred, and I was not. I was up two points. I got the I got a change twice. Um, where I got the rook for the bishop, and I was not making any progress, and I was one point. So, but they have 120 minutes and they have two hours. So, um, didn't play it really good. Um, but I, I think it was not necessary to actually win the game. It was just game. But Richard Rapports and so far has tried his second game and third game. So, um, can he make? Can just can he make? Um, a win. He, um, can he make a win and make it first? He's really good. But can he make it first? But Duda is leading the tournament. But can he be so? Can he win? He has a long history. But just can he make it? Can he win the candidates? Can he win the race? Um, World champion like on and wish one wish one not ended, but my most absolutely so I hope you enjoyed the game. Um feel free to um watch all my previous videos or that I'm not sure. Um thank you for all watching and um, I, um have a great time and continue being the fitting candidates tournament and see who will win the tournament and what will happen in other in the chess world. Thank you and have have a great next session.